Greetings, greetings, fellow Quake Elevens. It's Mr. Slatch right here, and welcome to Back to Basics. And now, what is it that you are going to be looking at now? Basically, we are going to be trying and understanding our functions, right? So, we are going to be understanding our functions through what? Uh, through a past paper of our November 2018, right? So basically, that is going to be that particular paper. So now, what is it that they are requiring us to do them? The first question require us to write down what is going to be the equation of your asymptote. Remember that your equation of your asymptote is going to be this one, which is x subtract 1. Uh, for the x is going to be x subtract 3 is equal to 0. Therefore, your x is going to be equal to your 3. And your y equation of your asymptote is simply going to be what? It's going to be 2, right? So basically, that is going to be, uh, those are going to be the first two equations uh, of your asymptote, or rather the equations of your asymptote, right? Now, that is the first one. Now, uh, so now your 5.2. Now, what is it that you are required in 5.2? They want you to determine the x-intercept of f. Now, uh, for the graph of f. So now, for you to find the x-intercept, you know that we are always going to do this. This We are going to say, now, look, for x-intercept, uh, you always what you let y to be equals to zero, right? So which means basically this is going to be y is equals to four over x subtract uh three plus what plus your two. So now then this is going to be same as what now zero is equals to four over x subtract your three plus what plus two. Then when you take your two this side, what is it that you're going to have? This is same as negative two is equals to uh four over x subtract your three isn't it so and then now you're going to take the negative uh the negative two and multiply it with what this is same as over one then you're going to cross multiply so this is going to be same as what this is going to be same as negative two x right negative two x plus what this is going to be plus six plus six is going to give you what is going to give you your four once again, and then now, which means what is going to be that particular thing? Now, when you're solving this, this is same as negative 2x is equal to, when you take these 6, this side, it is going to be negative, so you're going to have negative 2. Then you're going to divide by negative 2 here, you are going to divide by negative 2 here. So, which means your x coordinate is going to be given by 1, right? So, basically, that is going to be that, which means now the coordinate of your x-intercept is going to be same as what? It's going to be same as 1 and 0, right? So the coordinate is going to be same as 1 and 0. So basically, that is the first thing that you're going to do. Now, let's look at the second one. What is it that you are going to do now in the next question, or rather, what is required of us in the next question? The next question requires to find out uh, what is going to be the y-intercept. For y-intercept, for y-intercept, you do what? Uh, intercept you let x to be equal to zero. You let x to be equal to zero. So this is going to be same as y is equals to what? Is equals to four over. Now in a space for x is going to be zero subtract three plus your what? Plus your two. And when you're doing like that, the answer that you're going to find here, your y is going to be same as what? Uh, this is same as two over three. Your y is same as uh, two over three. How it get? So basically, which means now the coordinate here is going to be same as what? zero and two over three right so basically that is going to be the coordinate for your y-intercept now already now the next question require you to do what your 5.4 require you to now plot these graphs right so let's make up some space here so that we can plot it very nicely right now they want us to plot the graph right so now they want us to plot what they want us to plot the graph of what uh, they say now the sketch shows the graph of f and also the g in the same set of axes, right? So now, what is it that you already know? We already know that for the graph of f, we have your x and your y intercept. But for the graph of g, we do not have that. Remember, for the graph of uh, for the graph of x, what is it that you already know? The graph of f, we already know that uh, we have uh, your x, which is equals to your 2, uh, the rather your x, which is equals to your 3, and also your y, which is equals to your 2 as your uh as your what as your uh, axis right or rather as your intercept and your axis that you are having you already know that we are given by what the other one it's one and zero and the other one it's what it's zero and two over three 
right? Now let's find out for the graph of G. Similarly, for the graph of G, we are going to do the same thing. For X intercept, you're going to let Y to be equal to zero. And for Y intercept, you're going to let X to be equal to zero. So this is same as now. Let's start with the Y. Now for Y intercept, uh, you are going to say now for Y intercept, uh, you, let, you let your X to be equal to zero. So this is going to be same as Y is equals to are uh, you what? This is going to be y is equals to 0 plus 2, which is same as what? Which is same as 2. And for the other one, it's same as what? The other one is given by 0 is equals to your what? Your x plus 2. Therefore, which means the x uh, intercept is going to be given by... Sorry. It's going to be given by what? Your x intercept is going to be given by negative 2. Right? Now, that is going to be that particular intercept. Right? Uh, so now, so basically, those are some of the things that you are going to take out from here. So now the coordinate here is given by uh, negative 2 and 0. The other one here is same as 2 and 0. Right? Now, so basically, those are going to be the two points. Now, if let's say we want to draw our graph here, let me just uh, try and, you know, uh, make up our graph here and see in terms of what is it that you are going to have. Now, if this is going to be your... Look at this now. Look at this line of hours. So if this is your line, let's say this is your first line here. And this other one is the other line here, right? Now, so what is it that you are going to do now to plot this graph? Remember, this is a sketch. So you do not necessarily need all these many things, right? So now, for example, what is it that you are going to start with? You can simply start with your what? Your x and y intercept, right? Your x and y intercept, right? Or rather your uh, asymptote. Let's start with our asymptote. We said the first asymptote for x, it was 3. So the 3 is going to be, let's say our 3 is somewhere here. So this is going to be your 3. So which means it's going to have our, what? We are going to have your dotted lines here. That acts as an asymptote, right? And the other asymptote is going to be same as 2. And your 2 is going to be here. This is going to be your value of your 2. So now the other asymptote is also going to be here. Okay. So basically that is going to be that uh, asymptote. Now let's start and try and plot this particular graph. Let's say we start with the graph of G. Now the graph of G, what is it that you are having? Let's use another color here. Now the graph of G, what you already have is that the graph of G, you are having your first, your X, uh, your Y intercept, which is same as 2 and 0, right? So it's same as, uh, this one is same as your 0 and 2. Rather, this is same as 0 and 2. And the other one is going to be that, right? So which means it's going to be here. Uh, it's going to be here at 0 and 2. And the other one, our negative 2, let's say our negative 2 is here. So this graph is going to be in here. So now if you are plotting that particular straight line graph, it's going to uh, pass straight like this. So this graph is going to look something like this, right? The graph is going to look something like this. This is a graph of our what? This is going to be the graph of our G, right? So this is the going to be the graph of G of X. Now, if let's say we look the graph of now uh of f of x. Now the graph of f of x. Let's start here. The first the first uh, turning point we said it's going to be one and zero. Let's uh let's find out an, a nicer color there. We said it's going to be one and zero. And one and zero it's where it's given here. So if this is your three, your one, we are going to find your one here. It's going to be one and three, or rather one and zero. And the other one we set it uh, for the X is same as two over three, right? And basically what is going to be your two over three? Your two over three, it's same as 0 0.75, if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, so this is going to be somewhere here, right? So this is going to be uh, somewhere here, right? So these are going to be basically the points. And now when you are plotting this graph, now this is what is going to happen. So this graph is going to come from here. It's going to move from here, from here, up until here, right? So that is going to be that first graph. And the other one, you are simply going to just draw the reflection of that graph, which is going to be somewhere here, right? So basically, these are going to be the two graphs of ours that you are required to draw, right? Hopefully this makes sense to you. Now, if you move uh, swiftly along, they say now calculate the coordinates of point of intersection into the graph of what? Uh, for the graph of F and also uh, the graph of what? Of G. So now for us to calculate the what now? For us to calculate the point of intersection, what is it that you are going to have now? Now, uh, for you to have that particular graph, uh, let's see in terms of what is it that you are going to have? 
Uh, now you are going to have these particular points. So you are going to say, what is the graph of F? So this is going to be this one. Let's write it here. So this is going to be same as 4, uh, 4 over X subtract 3. Uh, plus what plus two is equals to what is equals to what uh, x plus two basically whenever you are looking for the point of intersection it's where both of those graphs are equal right so now that is going to the first thing that you're going to do then you're going to obviously take the two let's say you take the two this other side what is it that you're going to have uh, now, uh, if you take the two, this other side or the other side, it's going to be minus two, right? So the two are going to cancel each other. So basically, even if you took it, this side is going to still be the same thing. So here you're having X uh, over what? Four over X subtract your three, isn't it so? So basically that is going to be that. And now when you're here, then you're going to cross multiply. Remember here it's same as over what? So you're going to multiply here. So this is going to be same as X into what? X subtract three is equals to what? Uh, into x subtract 3 is going to be cos to your 4, right? So basically that is going to be that. And when you are solving that, this is going to be same as x squared subtract 3x. Then this is going to be subtract 4 is equals to 0 when you take these particular uh, for this side, right? And now after that, you're going to just simply open up your two brackets and find out the factors of this. So this is going to be same as x. This is same as x. Now the factors that can give us also the three, it's going to be same as four and one, right? So now this is going to be same as negative three or rather negative uh, negative four and plus one, which are going to give us the negative three. So which means your x is going to be given by negative one or your x is going to be given by what? Is going to be given by positive 4. So basically, those are going to be the point of contact for those particular two graphs. Are we together? Now, hopefully this makes sense to you. Now, uh, if you are continuing here, now they say if your x, uh, if x is less than 3, determine the values of x for which uh, this particular graph uh, is, uh, the graph of f of x is less than what? A is less than x plus 3, right? Or it's going to be less than the graph of g of x. Now, where is going to be this two place where you are having those two points less than each other, right? Now, uh, so these type of graphs, they said if x uh, is less than 3, which means if x is going to be uh, less than 3, where is going to be the point where both of these particular graphs are what? Uh, where the graph of uh, f of x is less than the graph of g of x. Now, which means it's going to be where, if you can check here. Uh, now, uh, if you are doing that, uh, what is it that you are going to do? You'll realize that the points where both of these graphs are going to be less than each other. Now, if you can look at this graph here. Now, uh, this is going to be same as here, let's see. Now, they say if x is less than 3, which means the value of the x that you are considering, you are only considering the values that are, what, are starting from this, right? Uh, moving this way right so those are going to be the points uh, or rather the values that you are considering right so which means now where is going to be this now already we know that the point of intersection you are having the one of what of x is equal to negative one which means this particular point of intersection the x is equal to negative one is basically here because that's where both of these graphs are what are intersecting right so which means now if you start from here up until uh closely to that can you see that the graph here let me just highlight it so that you can see it can you see that the graph starting from here uh from here moving this way right moving this way this particular graph right before you what before they what they intercept or rather before the asymptote the graph of g of x is above the graph of uh what the the graph of f of x because if you can look at the graph of f of x is underneath or is below right so basically in those two particular points that is going to be where the graphs are going to be what that is where the graphs are going to be having that so which means starting from this point up until you close proximity to this point right that is going to be where the graph of what where the graph of f or the graph of g of x is going to be greater than the graph of what of f of x right because the graph of g of x here is above if you can look at the graph of f of x here is below can you see it's it's here and whereas the graph of this other one is here right so basically which means it's going to be uh, where x is in between what where is in between negative one and also what and also three 
So basically, that is going to be where the graph is going to be. What uh, it is going to be, uh, your greater. Your g of x is going to be greater than what the one of f of x, right? Hopefully, this will make sense to you now. Now let's make up our space so that we can now, uh, you know, look at the last question, which is our five point seven, and see in terms of what is required of us in them. Now, in your uh five point seven, they say now. Uh, the line y is equal to x subtract 1. Cut your f at point p and uh, q. Write down the coordinates of what of, of this. The coordinates of what of q. So now, uh, what is it that you are going to do now from here? Uh, they say the, the, the line, or rather the line y x subtract 1. Uh, cut f at p, which is equal to 0. So what, where are you then going to start finding that? Where are you going to find this particular uh, coordinates firstly now so if this graph is going to cut at this remember we are given that uh the graph is given by what uh you are going to start here if this is your equation uh if this is going to be the line of the equation that you are given you are going to start here uh now you are going to say uh you are going to take the graph of f of x firstly and you are going to equate it with the graph of what uh with the new graph now because that's where both of these graphs are equal remember they say the line y is uh is equals what uh the, the line uh x subtract one cut what uh it is going to touch at p and also q so basically we are saying the new graph the graph of x subtract one is going to have the point of contact with the graph of what of four over x subtract three plus what plus your two because they said there that uh the line that cuts f so it's seen as they say cuts which means this is a point of contact isn't it so so then which means we are going to find out what is going to be the new coordinates of what the new coordinate of q and now when you are finding out the new coordinate of q this is simply going to be what we are going to take this one this side let's say you start with this two you take it this side so we put that now this is going to be same as what this is going to be same as x subtract what x subtract three is equals to four over x subtract three and now from here, we are going to have what? Now you are going to have x subtract 3 multiplied by x subtract 3. Remember here, it's same as over 1. When you cross multiply, this is going to be same as x subtract 3 multiplied by x subtract 3 is equal to your 4. Isn't it so? And then now when you do that, then you are going to solve for these. So when you are solving for these, obvious is going to be x multiplied by x, which is x squared. The other one is going to be same as what? Uh, x multiply by negative 3 this is going to be negative 3x negative 3x again and also plus 9 right plus 9 is equal to 4 then which means this is same as x squared subtract 6x and when you are taking this uh this one this side is going to be 5 right remember this is going to be uh now 9 subtract you what 9 subtract your 4 which is same as 5 oh it's okay so this is going to be positive 5 is equal to 0 and from here you are going to open your two brackets this is going to be x, this is going to be x, this is going to be 5, this is going to be 1. And now, the factors that can give you negative 6, this must be negative and this must be negative. So, which means the value of your x here is going to be same as 1, or your x is going to be same as what? As your 5. Are we together? So, basically, this is going to be how you are solving these particular questions. Are we together? Hopefully, now, that uh, all of these make sense to you. Which means the value of your q now. And what is going to be the value of your Q? Let's see. Now, uh, the value of your Q, you are going to take what? Now, the value of your Q, obviously, the one you are already given here, that P is 1 and 0, right? So, which means the other, now the, the value of your Q, now it's going to be the 5, right? So, you're going to take the 5 and substitute it in any of this equation. So, you can take the 5 and say, now, Y, remember, you're given Y is equal to X subtract 1, right? So, this is the same as Y now is equal to 5 subtract 1, which is your Y is going to be same as 4, which means the new coordinate of Q is going to be given by what? 5 and also your 4. So basically, this is how you are going to solve these type of questions, right? Hopefully, all of this is making sense to you now. And thank you very much for tuning in.